Hello my friends and welcome to Open Studio D. Today I'm gonna start actually a series of episodes. I'm not sure how many ep episodes will be. Uh, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five, maybe seven. And now I'm going for a total of six days or actually seven days of painting to Virginia, Norfolk, Virginia. This is the first plain air uh, competition. It's called, if I'm not wrong, Coastal Plain Air 2021 in Virginia. So yes, this is the first plain air event uh, this year and I'm glad because uh, I will be outside, I will be painting. This is competition but, you know, I normally don't you know, put myself in this situation when I'm competing. So I have to paint faster or I have to paint better or whatever, uh, you know, competition means. For me, it's just seven days of painting same way i'm painting every day in my studio or outside so nothing's changed the only change that i have to live somewhere else but in the same way i'm a lot a lot of times i'm traveling somewhere else and i live in airbnb and and i paint so really the only difference is i have to stamp my canvases uh, so i have a limited i get i mean an unlimited um, amount of uh, canvases I can stamp, but when I stamp them, I have a limit. So I, I cannot like, you know, paint something, I don't like it, throw it away. I have to be careful in, in this sense. And the last day we'll have the exhibition where the uh, a lot of collectors will come. I hope a lot of collectors will come, or local people will come and we're gonna meet with them and there will be a sales and awards and everything else. So, and I thought this will be very, very interesting for you to see the competition from inside out, from our eyes to how we see the competition to you. Know, to you. So let me know if this is a bad idea, but I think it will be interesting. Today will be day one or episode one and it will be packing. What I normally take with me on plain air competition. So let's get, you know, started. Here we go. So as I mentioned, today is episode number one and this episode is all about packing. What I take with me to plain air competition. And I normally create a list, something like this. Uh, I create a list of what I need to take and go by check, you know, by this list and just put a check mark, check, 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 check. And it always works for me. So the first category will be my backpack. What I actually put in my backpack, because the backpack is something that I will be taking uh, every day to um, location. Even though you know, I will be driving car and uh, my car will have other items in my car just in case I need it. But my backpack is the main carrier, so main uh, my tool carrier, so, so to speak. So what I put in my uh, backpack. First of all, about backpack. Uh, I use this military, I forgot what's the name, it's a military grade uh, backpack. Uh, with a lot of stuff, a lot of Velcro and a lot of, you know, uh, the belts and whistles. Uh, I can do a lot of attachments like this, you know, kind of side back. I can do the same thing on this side. It, on the back it has a breathable um, material, so when you're carrying them in the, in the back, you know, you're not sweating. And I have how many compartments? I have, I have one compartment and in this compartment I have my sketchbook my sketchbook and my, um, this is actually heavy duty claws um, back. This is actually from Sennheiser, from microphone. And what I have inside is everything for sketch. So I have my eraser and, you know, box of uh, screw, I mean the pencils. I have automatic pencil. That's what I'm using constantly. And then another eraser and a uh, bunch of, uh, I have another razor, like a pen razor, and 0.5 millimeters to be um, inserts for my auto pencil. So this is everything for uh, sketching. And I think I have from previous plein air, yeah, I have this, so I don't need this. All right, so this is in this compartment, then I can put something else, but I normally, uh, when I pack my backpack, I, I pack it every time the same way, so I know I'm not thinking and I'm going spending time or where, where that thing. I know if I need to sketch, this is the first compartment, this compartment. Everything for sketching is right here. Next one is a small one, is my kind of uh, emergency thing. Small screws uh, for my easel, 
for day tripper i'm taking day tripper with me i normally take two easels but we'll talk about this later uh, my main easel is day tripper by uh, josh bean or pr pr prolificpainter.com and i have some extra screws for my uh, tripod and for easel so this is this then i have uh, several pairs of gloves what else let's see maybe we can glasses you know spare uh spare glasses then i have a uh, black marker for sketches for notan and we'll maybe i'll shoot a video about notan great thing so this is my marker for notan this is my big knife that i always have here and i have a small knife in my pocket i always have two knives very uh helpful for you know sharpening the pencil or you need to cut something or um, whatever, just as assistant to you, okay? So this is the uh, main role of this big knife. So this is another thing. And then I have the flashlight, uh, just a small flashlight. And that's it. This is what I have in this small compartment. So this is just accessories or purse aid or accessories. All right, so this is in this compartment. Then let's move inside. So inside I have two sections. Uh, one, sections one section I'm using for my uh, brushes and a bunch of napkins. So, and I'm gonna load right now with more napkins to make sure I have everything is ready for me. And then another thing I have, I have another kind of, uh, pocket here and in this pocket I have my gray uh, gray scale so this is number one in this pocket uh, another one is viewfinder I used to use this but you find a plastic viewfinder and you probably you know seen this a lot um, this is just viewfinder lately I'm using just my iPhone uh, because it's much easier but I have this just in case I forgot my phone or my phone died. And this is another thing that I strongly, strongly recommend for everybody. And I used to use this a lot. Uh, so this is um, by Tiffin, well-known um, company for photography. And this is basically a filter, neutral filter. So it's you know kind of dark. And when you look through this to outside, everything is flat not flat everything in the same same tone so it's it's this one is kind of greenish um, grayish they call it gray but it's not really gray color they have a kind of green cast but you will see the values <laughs> like crazy uh, right away so if you're doubting like what this you know color so basically this will hide the colors and show all, only the values so i used to use this a lot and this will train your eyes like crazy so strongly recommend it's uh called company is tiffin and name of this is b and w ewing filter so basically it's a filter that you can screw and it comes with this you know handle you know small handle i normally put it on my neck and on my chest through the neck and then if i doubting the values i will pull it and then check the values and you know i start painting so I strongly recommend and this is and I, again i have in my bag i have everything that i use i don't have anything that just oh let them have it in case those items just in case are in my car so in my backpack i have everything that i i'm using if something in my uh, backpack that i'm not using for three or four times i move it to my car that's it so this is the comp this compartment so next compartment is or section will be my trusty day tripper that i just did review uh day tripper and next one will be my uh paint and let me put it down and show you my paint box so this is my paint box that you can buy from i think i bought this from um walmart or target i forgot now uh why i like this box because it has you know first of all two locks 
and then it, it you know you have a sections or this box has a sections so I have first section and what I have in this section is my cup for you know when I do underpainting I'll put my medium here this is number one then I have two uh, carpenter clips so it's just a small carpenter clips I think this is just two inches and I have two of them and I will show you when I start painting I will show you how I'm actually using them to secure my uh, trash bag on my easel so this is two two clips then I have my gambling self um, solvent free gel I have one here just one and I have my titanium white I have actually three tubes because I use sometimes I use a lot uh, so just uh, and I'm using uh, Lucas 1862 and gambling uh, titanium white so this is this is the first section and then I have four other sections and I, and I divided them by color nothing else in this box so I'm gonna close it and I normally put tubes you know this is the bottom this is the top lid and I'm going to put this in my backpack like this right next to my right next to my uh, easel so the next what I will have in my backpack is my uh, brush holder uh, this is my set of brushes that I'm gonna use on um, on location and this is not my six brushes that I normally take I take a little bit more basically I will take extra uh, six just in case if something happened so this is going to my backpack as well like this and it's actually against the uh, against the box to so make sure it you know, I won't break them the next one my brush washer with neutral terpenoid I love it because it's it's, it's cleaning brushes really well and as well as my palette so this is going to this zip bag and I'll zip it zip it and put it in this bag and also this is my uh, medium underpainting medium this will be enough uh, even for you know big uh, canvases this will be enough and I'm putting right next to my brush washer and zip it so it's closed I can actually put it in the back but I normally put it inside I can you know attach it to on the side of my backpack but I normally put it inside right there I have a small space for my tripod oh I forgot to put so that's something we need to put I forgot my palette, uh, palette knives see I'm not looking at my list and I'm already making mistakes so this is my tripod and this is how I normally carry that tripod this tripod in my backpack so basically I unlock the ball hat swing it like this lock it it's gonna stick a little bit and I put in this in my backpack and I'm gonna lock everything and I'm going to lock my backpack to if I can lock it to this point so this is the only one thing that is sticking out so I'm locking this side and this is the reason I like this backpack because I have this side so when I click it I tie this I tie this and everything is very very intact also I forgot to mention I have this attachment on the side and I have just the box of trash bags waste basket cool so I'm gonna lock this as well right here and that's it this is my backpack and I have clip a keychain clip or whatever rock climbing uh, clamp and I normally when I'm painting and I'll show you when I'm painting I will attach this to my tripod so it's stable so this is it this is what we're taking this is what we're taking when we'll be painting outside so let's talk about what is going to car beside this so we're done with this we can put the check mark on our list as I mentioned I forgot about my uh, palette knives I normally take four palette knives with me one 
Um, it's basically three same kind, call it leaf or leave. Um, palette knives, big one. I unfortunately I don't have a number, so. Uh, this is two and a half inches, two inches, and this is one and a half inch um, leaf palette knife. And then this is another palette knife that I really like. This kind of oval. This is for you know removing the paint and moving, make sure palette knife is not leaving any marks. So what I'm going to do, I have, as I mentioned, I have a small um, brush holder. So I'm going to do right here right here and then up and up and we'll just close it and this will go to our backpack as well so what else is going to my car as the additional uh, items that i will have in my car with me all the time all seven days uh case of paint just extra paint i pull from my shelf i have you know everything is like viridian uh, i have a big tube of my gel just in case I have a big tube of titanium and this in this case it's titanium white by gambling i have um, titanium white by lucas and just two paints by each color that, that i have so this will be in my car just in case i will run out of paint i'm pretty sure i'm not but i will just take it just in case because it's a it's a worst scenario when you're running out of uh, paint and or the closest art store is like 30 miles away <laughs> and you're losing <laughs> the half day of painting so this is what i'm going now uh what else is going into this box is basically is this this all the brushes that i'm uh i have in my studio they just sit there just in case but I'm moving my studio outside so I'm gonna take them with me but they will be just in case in my car I'm pretty sure for all seven days I'm not gonna use them but just to have that you know free mind of the worries and everything just concentrate concentrate on painting I will just take them wrap it you know put the rubber bands around and I'm gonna put them in this box as well so this is one set or one box that I'm going with me as my uh, tools so basically I have a uh, rubber bands and I will take all the brushes you never know what what can happen uh, somebody can sit on the brushes and boom everything is destroyed so this is one pack of brushes I'm just put it here and then I'll take the rest of the brushes just in case I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use it I'm like 99% sure I'm not going to use it but normally one thing that I do when I when I travel I will check where I'm going and where is the actual the local local store art store so basically this is another set of the brushes that I'm gonna put right here. So I have my paint and my brushes right here. So as my spare easel, just in case something happened to my uh, number one easel, I'm actually this time I will take open box M, which I really kind of don't like, uh, but I will just take it for the sake of using it <laughs> and see, maybe even do some reviews review of this, not review, just talk about this easel um, if I have time, if I have time. So this is uh, open box M. I will, we'll talk about this easel later on. This is, but I'm just showing you what I'm taking with me as the, as a spare. So this is the open box M easel that I'm taking as my second easel, just in case something has happened to my other easel. Uh, the next item on the list is the canvas or canvases. So uh, I do my own canvases. Uh, and this is just a gator board with um, Centurion oil prime linen glued to um, to the gator board. And I will shoot another video about how to make those canvas. I mean, how to make this canvases. Uh, very, very light. This is really like a feather. You don't even feel it in, in your hand. Uh, very easy to to make. Save some money, but. You know, not saving you know a lot of money, but what you do, what you have, you can cut any 
uh, sizes if you want. For example, I'm going to uh, plein air right now, right? So we end up with packing for this, for this plein air. So instead of taking like a bunch of 9x12s uh, or I have here, which I will take just because I have it, or let's say even 12, 12 by 12 like square format, which I love painting. So what I will do, I will take a sheet of um, 18 by 24. So this is a big, big uh, sheet of 18 by 24. And what I can do, I can, I will take probably, you know, I will take it just enough to make sure I have enough. And when you go to, you know, any, any plein air, they will stamp, they put the stamps on the back. So make sure you're not coming with already painted um, uh, pieces of work and then you're pretending like you painted it and then you just try to sell it. So the whole point is paint within those, you know, four or five days, actually five days, and then present it to your collectors. But basically what I do, I will just count to stamping. And what I will do is I will ask the uh, lady or whoever will be st putting a stamp on canvases, to put actually six stamps on each corner, four on each corner, and then two in the middle. What it will do for me, I will be able to cut any sizes, whatever I feel to paint, or let's say I cut one size and I'm painting and I'm realizing all this two or three inches you know, are useless, I can actually cut it, remove it, throw it away, and make sure I have a frame for this. But I can do any sizes instead of carrying like a lot of nines by 12, a lot of uh, 12 by 12, and then next size and next size. This is it. I'll just take maybe five of this, and this will be more than enough for for this you know, competition. So strongly recommend. So I'm going to take five of this, and I will take. I will just take this just because I have it uh, in my studio. So I, I may. I may not even stamp them, so I may use this for studies, uh, I'm not sure, or maybe I'll stamp them. These are my canvases that I'm taking with me. And plus to these canvases, what you have to take is your uh, wet canvas uh, holder or carrier. So in this case, I have this, and I actually have a review of this uh, uh, wet carrier on my Art Retreat uh, YouTube channel. So basically this is uh, two boxes uh, Velcro together. This one is 12 by 16 with one insert for 11, 11 by 14. So this is the insert, just handmade insert. I'm just, you know, always laughing about art supplies. So basically this goes, uh, this wet carrier is 12 by 16 and you can do anything by 12. You can do 12 by 12, you can do 12 by 8 or 8 by 12, you can do 12 by 16, you can do 12 by 24, it will be sticking out. Or you can insert this piece right like this uh, and then you convert from 12, you convert to 11. And then you can do whatever 11, but basically we have only one size, 11 by 14. So I'm just gonna drop it right here just in case. And I have, on this side, I have another uh, box, small box, which I velcroed to uh, 12 by 16. And this is when I used to paint, oops, sorry. This is when I used to paint uh, eight by sixes or eight by eight or eight by 10. So basically this is eight eight inches wide so you can do anything by eight this is something that is going to uh to the car as well at canvases and wet panel carrier and this is by raymar so next item on the list is called very sticky item <laughs> um frames so when you paint when you go to plain air events or competitions not only you have to bring all this stuff your canvases, but you have to bring the frames. This is where you have to spend a little bit more time and preparation because I can take a bunch of, uh, of canvases, different sizes, but if I don't have the right um, frame for it, it's useless. So basically everything is dictated by what frame do you have in stock in your studio. As I said, I ordered a uh, bunch of frame, uh, frames just to make sure I have for this event 
Then in May, I'm going to uh, South Carolina, Charleston. Uh, I will see how many items I will sell. If I sell, and I'll have to replenish them. I think I have enough time to order new ones. If not, then I have everything in stock. And then in June, I have, I have another plane air competition in, um, I've got where I have to look. Uh, and so on and so on. So I have five or six competitions this year. So frames, and I ordered my frames from JFM uh, in, from Georgia, uh, run by family. Uh, and I love their frames. There is a frames made in Mexico, frames made in China, and there is actually there are some frames that I believe they make themselves as well. Um, what kind of frames I'm using? This is I will actually show the link. I don't want to unwrap it because I will be putting them tomorrow morning in my car, and I just want them to be wrapped. I can show you actually unwrapped pieces. Uh, so of kind of said that I mean of frame that I'm using. So this is one flat and I have, this is uh, two uh, nine by 12. So, oh, so basically I have a bunch, I have to actually spend time right now selecting what I will take with me. And I will take probably up to, I would say eight frames, uh, maybe nine by 12, 12 by 16, uh, 12 by 24 and 12 by 12. And I have actually, I just found by pulling the frames. So this is nine, nine by 12. Uh, this is 12 by 12 by 16. They are wrapped, so I'm not going to un unwrap it. I'm not going to unwrap it. <laughs> so this is 12 by 12 by 16 and 12 by 24. So this are another set. And then I have, I, I can show you small ones that I, I'm gonna take, since I cannot take 12 by uh, six by eight, I will take, I just found two that I completely forgot that I have. Two. Five by seven. Yeah, this is five by seven, very small frames. This is just a, what do you call it? Snack, <laughs> I call them snack paintings. And this is how they looks like. Um, like this is, uh, I, I love those, the gorgeous frames. If you can see it, uh, golden, gold leaf inside touch and then kind of brownish black outside. Love them, very sturdy, heavy, heavy duty. So if you take five by seven, I just finished one a couple of days ago. It's a study so basically this looks like this you just insert them inside clip 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 and voila this there's two I have two of them two boxes so I may do this as it will be small just small touch if I sell something you know, sell something I can replenish it with you know small one so this is two five by seven Unfortunately, I would love to take six by eight. I'm more you know, uh, attached to six by eight, but I don't have frames, unfortunately. I have two two frames right on my wall paintings, and I'm scratching my head. I said maybe I should take those painting out and just take frames. Mm, no, I will take this. These are the frames that I'm taking, and I have to uh, select what I will take what sizes. So I'll spend time to just selecting right sizes. So let's move to next item. Now, next list of the items that are going to my car uh, and very, very important. And it relates to actually kind of framing to the frames. So here we go. The um, stapler and this stapler is by Logan. I love this stapler and I will show you how to actually, uh, you know what, maybe this is a good idea uh, to shoot a video how to properly frame uh, frame the, I mean, the painting in, inside a frame. Um, you know what, this is a good idea. You know what, I tell you, before we start, <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm going free, freestyle today, okay? Uh, I just remember uh, once one event, uh, I was actually playing air event and what happened, I was actually uh, in the gallery. I was in the gallery hanging my stuff and suddenly, you know, something happens like boom, uh, 
the noise is like and everybody's like wow what happened blah 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 a lot of noise so i'm i came from my corner because you know the, the stands in the gallery i came from my corner and i see the painting fresh painting on the floor the frame is in pieces the painting is kind of like a couple feet away from the frame upside down on the floor the floor is dirty was you know uh, luckily the, the the paint was already kind of settling so it's not like fresh 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 so what happened and i immediately i look at the frame and i i saw in the frame the wire that actually you put on the frame it was not properly wrapped uh, around the uh, around the hook they hung the painting uh, probably day before because it was already on the, on the wall and it slowly slowly start unwrapping and I'm talking about uh, this in the gallery uh, wire the frame wire that uh, I will show you and it was slowly slowly start unwrapping and it was the accident that you know ex not accident it was accident but accidentally I was there and I saw everything so basically it, it, it unwrapped and poof, crash on the floor and destroy the painting destroy the frame and I can imagine the you know what you know this art one like you know, everything can you imagine like and and I think this was a it was a big painting the heavy like five by you know five by six even nine by twelve it's not that the heavy that was like really like 18 by 24 I think so or 16 by 16 by 20 maybe uh, and it's like collapsed on the floor and boom done so my point, maybe we shoot a video about how to properly uh, put your picture in the frame, how to properly staple it, and how to properly measure where to put the hooks, uh, and how to wrap the wire around the hook, so make sure it's not unwrapping, so self-locking. Shoot me a comment and let me know if this is something you want to see, and I will, I will definitely shoot a video, this will be easy. So the first item on the list, go back to list we're doing free freestyle today so the first item on the list is the stapler and it's by Logan uh, this is not you know, stable like you know a regular office stapler this actually shoot straight so when you put in the you know frame you put uh, this stapler inside the, against your picture move it to the frame and I'm not gonna squeeze because I'm gonna you know insert that piece of it's a, literally like half inch or three quarter pin that goes inside the wood i guess this would be a good idea to sh <laughs> to shoot a video how to do it so stapler number one let's move on stapler number one this is going actually you know what? let's start putting this in the bag and i have this um clear uh, box so i can see from the car what inside and where how to reach inside so this is actually a good suggestion never put in the boxes that you didn't see you have to pull it out just this sits in my car like this stock of these boxes and know exactly what what is where so stapler is going first then i have already put this this is actually a ring extra ring for a brush washer Sometimes those rings are dry out and they start leaking. Always have extra, extra one. It just happened to be in this box, so I'm gonna keep it there. All right, so next one is wire. Um, if you're serious about painting and you know you're gonna participate in plain air events, just get this. This is a uh, number five uh, called Super Soft Strand. Um, how many feet? 500 feet of length and this is wrapped with uh, vinyl so it's not bare wire it's actually vinyl so when you're working and framing it's not going to kill your your hands or your fingers so strongly recommend this is i'm starting a new one and uh, this is a fresh so i mean uh a frame wire is going into my bag as well next one is this or actually the stables this is drive points they come with two colors one black is soft and white is hard so we're using soft so we can if we need to remove the paint to, to correct you can basically like bend it put the painting back bend it back okay so i have a box of this all right so this is going in back this is for my stapler so this and this goes 
together. So this is going inside here and shoot out. All right, so next item is actually a picture hang. What they call D-ring. We're using D-ring. Why is D-ring? I'm gonna show you another one. So this is uh, 100 packs back. Uh, you will save a lot of money by buying hundreds uh, than just five. I will show you another one right here. This I'm taking this for heavy paintings. I have like maybe uh, 16 by 20, maybe. So this looks like this, and it's actually have a plastic insert and actually uh, screws already inside, like inserted in in the D-ring. It's much faster to uh, screw in the frame and. What is interesting, this is why it's called D-ring, because it's letter D, if you see it right here. D-ring hang. <laughs> All right, so I have, I'm taking two boxes of heavy duty. Uh, heavy duty, I have the small boxes. So this is going inside and then I have a hundred small ones which is good for uh, probably up to 12 by 16 that it will be fine with one just one screw larger i would recommend the uh, during hang with two screws on hand so this is for framing also i found three pre-made uh, already pre-made wires so this is during on the one side during for another side this is probably good for nine by six, uh, nine by twelve. So I have three pre-made. Um, so I'm gonna put them right here. Pre-made. Next one is the tools that is going to the same box. And tools, I have this. It's called arrow. So this is basically like a prime bar. Uh, if I need to bend and then you know bend the pins and put them back, I'm using, not, instead of using my fingers, I'm using this, so I like my fingers. Uh, I like this too, because this protects my fingers. So this is number one, it's called Arrow, and you can buy this in any uh, supply, so art supply stores in the framing section, okay? So this is going inside as a tool. Next tool will be uh, the electrical drill. And I have a battery that's actually charging, so I have to take this as well. This is to, instead of screwing with your hands, and sometimes when you bring your paintings into gallery and uh, there's a bunch of people, and it's especially right now when, you know, with a pandemic, they will have a slot of time for each artist and you have like 15 minutes. And normally, you know, you come with the frames and oh, I forgot to, <laughs> to uh, actually put the hang uh, durings on the frame and screw so this is the tools to do it. it's a small uh, electrical driver or drill um, electrical drill so it's just easy it's just this and done all right so this is going in my backpack so I got my extra <clears throat> extra battery and charger it's not I'm gonna do like 100 frames, uh, but this can sit in the, you know, in the hot car uh, and the battery can die and I don't have the drill, so. And I don't like use my fingers uh, to screw. I, you know, this is, we live in 21st century. So let's use it. All right, so this, so this is going as my tools as well. So next set of tools or just simple uh, screwdriver, just in case, just in case. Um, that knife, this is a knife. I have two knives, um, just a sharp. I can actually take probably one knife. I'm not gonna take um, this knife, but <clears throat> I always have this knife in my pocket, so why not to take it? Why change the rule? All right, so this knife is uh, not to sharpen anything. I just put a new blade. This is to cut my canvases. And I will take my metal ruler with me as well. So make sure I won't forget this. And this is just to cut the canvases and I will show you maybe another video how to make canvases and then how to cut it. And you know what? I'm just I'm just eager to show you something. And this is what I'm taking with me to shoot all the videos. And this is awesome 
this is a beast grip. Um, by the way, the guy who designed this and making it from Ukraine, he lives, I think, in Chicago or Boston. So this is basically a grip. You put your iPhone or mobile device right here and you have a grip, you have tripod, everything. There's so many inserts, like with my mic here, um, battery and charge it. And the coolest thing, I have a doctor that I order and unfortunately it's, it's not gonna come uh, for this event. It's gonna come after uh, or maybe during when I will be in, in Virginia. But basically you could put an adapter here Whereas the lens, own lens is, and you can put uh, any like filters. I'm gonna shoot all the videos with this thing. So I'm just, this is cool. So this is a knife, this is a ruler, just to tie it, uh, just to cut the canvases. All right, so this is going into my bag and set of extra blades. And then I take uh, two pliers, actually one plier, uh, again, just in case. Uh, pliers and then wire cutter just simple wire cutter you can cut it with this you can cut it with the pliers you can take one i mean it should be sitting in my car all right and an extra extra uh, rock climbing or key chain i call it key chain clamp but this is actually rock climbing i think they use it in rock climbing so uh, i use it for my bag to hang on my tripod i'm using actually for my keys so i don't have it and I'm sometimes I'm using it for something else, for tied something to something. So something for something. So this is some clamp for something that to tight something. Very interesting. All right. So uh, this one. Then I take two tapes, masking tape. Um, for I'm not sure why I'm taking this. I always take them. So why I'm taking them? Uh, I used to take them. I used to take them to when I un unwrap the canvas from supplies, you know, buying uh, all kind of pre-made can canvases. So when you cut the plastic, instead of putting them, I, you know, in the bag and they just start blowing up, I will take the tape and just wrap it around so it's a small piece and, and throw it in my trash bag. And also I used to paint in just the canvas. Not used to, I'm still painting. What I'm talking about, I have a video about this. Uh, but this time I'm taking my canvases on gator board canvases. So I, I will just throw this just in case, just in case. I'm not sure why, but just in case. All right, so this is everything relates to painting, to framing. And also I will take tick repeller. Uh, I'm going to Virginia, North Fork. This is right on, on the water. So there is probably no, not much, not many or not much ticks. When I'm going to like Pennsylvania or up north or, you know, somewhere in the forest, this is must have. So this is, is going in the same bag. Uh, also I take a uh, gimsol, not to clean my brushes, not to, you know, use it as a solvent. This is just in case some uh, paint will be somewhere. So this is the cleaner clean cleaner so i'm not using terpenoid natural i'm using gimsol so i'll take instead of this big bottle i will probably pour a small one and drop it into sandbag and this is something very important so i'm taking two ground uh, or ground uh sprays and this is this is gloss uh darmar uh, varnish so this is darmar varnish and this is retouch, Darmar retouch, uh, gloss. So what I do, I want to, and this is for just for plain air competitions. Uh, you know that you will finish and a couple days you have to hang it in, in the gallery. So but what I will do when I, when I finish painting and I know I'm not gonna do anything or I can do some retouches, this will be my first layer. I will just spray when I finish I will just spray everything on top of fresh paint and let it dry. And then right before, on the last day before going actually to the gallery and hanging the uh, paintings, I will use, uh, I will use Darmar varnish uh, as a 
the code would write one day or probably the same day in the gallery. So this will give that glow seal uh, and will pull the paint that already saw it start settling. It will bring it up and give the depth of uh, paint and so on and so on. All good stuff. So those two uh, cans are going in the same box right here. Um, and I know right there is. So. And what else? Oh, and this is very important. Uh, this is, I already have a video about this. Uh, this is my drying rack. So this will, in this case, I will have this as my drying and analyzing rack. So when I finish painting, I will put them here to dry. And the one that I need to analyze, or maybe on the last day when I finish all the painting, how many slots here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's enough. I'm gonna probably rotate them, all the paintings, and see if maybe I'll have to remove one, just toss it out, um, not to show. So you have to be careful what you, you know, not everything you're showing on the gallery, at the gallery, or in the gallery. So you have to make a selection. So this will probably, one day before or on the same day in the morning, I'll go through this and it will just select. So I need something to, instead of putting them, keep in mind, I'm renting Airbnb, even though I have the host, but still, I'm a guest in both houses. So instead of making marks on the floor or, you know, then be sorry, I'm gonna use this and make sure uh, my painting are drying and not touching anything, any surface. So this is, you know, very important things to take. So this is going in this box as well. And I need to actually put the game soul in a small uh, container. So what else? Let me look at the list. This is it for painting stuff. Uh, the rest is uh, electronics and uh, uh, like devices. And the last item or set of items that relates to kind of electronics that I had to take with me. And here's, here we go. This is what I'll normally take with me. So I'll take the, uh, my fan, uh, especially this is battery driven. So I have to replace the batteries and um, I'm using, the, using this on location. If I'm painting, let's say I finish under painting and I want to speed it up, I just put this, put on high speed and just chill for 5-15 minutes or analyzing and you know everything what I'm gonna do and this will blow the if it's not blowing from like outside uh, if there's no wind I'm gonna use this or sometime I come you know in, in hosting house host house and put painting I'll put this and I'll put the kind of wind to make sure it's drying faster so this is the uh, I'm gonna take this um, by the way, I forgot to mention to, I'm gonna take uh, bounty napkins and just in case, you know, make sure I have it in my, in my car. So next electronic item is this. And this is, this is the light, LED light. Uh, it's very bright, so I can show you. Very bright light. This is just in case if I want to paint uh, Nocturne and uh, I need this on my canvas and my palette. So I can use something, I can put it on a tripod. It has actually a quarter inch um, screw or hole. So I can use something like this. Oh, this is another item that I'm taking. This is actually um, handle or tripod, small tripod, or you can handle that for selfie or shooting in the video. So I can attach this and put it on my palette right on the left side on my palette and put it on my palette and on a canvas so i can see what's going on so this is two items that are going um the handle what i call it and this also this has two uh magnets on the back and i can if, if there is a you know possibility or ability to put my car right where you know, right where i'm going to paint i'm actually can stick this to the car and put it and it actually will give me a brighter you know angle of uh, painting and you know my canvas will be in the light and my palette will be in the light this is like in the dark uh you know situation this is very very light so this is something i'm taking as well then i'm taking my uh, battery charger so this will 
just in case I need to light the uh, my aperture LED light or charge the uh, uh, my phone. Uh, yeah, for recording basically. So I'm gonna charge it tonight. Actually, it's uh, ninety percent, so I have to charge it. Next, next thing is I already mentioned this. It's a cooler thing. Uh, Beast grip uh, with uh, another phone. I have. Uh, another phone that I will be recording with. This is the thing, I love it. Uh, so I'm taking this with the phone and of course charger, don't forget the charger, don't forget the cable for charger, uh, essentials and phone for communication because sometimes you're painting uh, and your wife is like, where are you? Honey, I'm here. And she can, I can share my location she can see where I'm painting and if something happened, if I'm not responding, she can come to that location. So communication is, uh, you know, if you're going to paint outside uh, somewhere, always share your location with your loved ones, like, you know, close ones, with your wife, husband, uh, children, brothers, sisters, whatever. Say, hey, I'm going to the forest, here's, here's my location. Uh, if I'm, you know, just check on me periodically. You never know. Right, so make sure you have camera and your phone, charged phone. And I will take the one of the uh, tribe. I have I have four tripods, so I'm not sure which one I will take. Probably the small one for just for camera. Uh, this one. So this is it. I think. <laughs> I think we covered. We covered everything. I'm just looking it around. List is check, 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 check. So I'm just, just wondering, make sure I got everything. Oh, yes, I have to take additional, probably three, four paintings. Uh, we allow to, if cell goes well, we allow to put, you know, two, three uh, paintings to replace. So I'm gonna take probably two done paintings just. Make sure they I have it. All right, this is all. This is all packing. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna put everything in one spot. So tomorrow morning, ah, another thing you have to pack is your clothes. Uh, so this is up to you, how you love to paint. Uh, I paint clean, so I didn't have to get like something dirty. I never you know, put paint on my pants or shirt, so I, this is how I work. Uh, and you know what, by just by saying that, I'm pretty sure the first day of painting, I'm gonna put paint all over me. <sighs> now we'll see, you will see. And also I forgot to mention, and I'll show you tomorrow, uh, when I will start moving all this stuff into my car, I have uh, an umbrella, a painting umbrella, and also I have a tent. Uh, I think it's like uh, eight by eight tent. That's a big, big thing. Uh, and if I know uh, it will be very very sunny or it will be raining so I'm gonna use if it's sunny I can use my umbrella uh, it's easy to set up and I didn't have to spend time setting up this 8 by 8 gigantic uh, tent but if I know it will be raining and I need to paint so um, I'll normally ask uh, my wife to help me to set up the, the tent and I have it in my, in my car so umbrella and tent I recommend taking it with you as well but I'm taking it with me tomorrow so so this is it this is all packing tomorrow morning I'm gonna move everything everything is in one spot uh, except this I'm actually charging my electronics like phone and the battery and the uh, LED light um, that's it so tomorrow we're gonna move everything to my car and hit the road so this is day one packing and I completely forgot <laughs> because this something is not here in my studio is actually in the laundry room uh, in my brush washer kit <laughs> what I call it and I completely forgot about this so um, this is what I have to take uh, with me and this is just Palma Life essential clean this is just a soap just a dish dishwasher soap. I'm using this for to wash my, my brushes and it's softening brushes a little bit. It's not letting it dry, like really sticky dry. So um, this is my step number one and step number two is trusty brush cleaner, the Masters. And as you can see, this is a master brush cleaner and this will clean everything. 
So this will lift any, any uh, paint from your brushes. So this is my final step, number two final step, before I actually w just wash them in the water. So those two things that I have to take. This is, this is it. So I'll see you next day. This is it. I'm not going to return. So I will see you next day. Here we go.